hello friends my self is polas channel and today i will discuss about how to create partition using command prompt in this part of this tutorial i will show you how to create primary and extended partition you can create primary and extended partitions in microsoft created any ways like windows xp windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 10 and lots of ways you can configure it now windows servers also so first see my computer management there is a two disks uh, one is disk 0 and another is disk 1 i will configure first disk 1 so disk 1 is unallocated and when we buy a hard disk and a hard disk we uh, uh, and attached hard disk into my computer so first we see the my hard disk is always is offline so first we configure uh, online the disk and configure it MBR or GPT. So now go to command prompt. And here is type disk part. Disk part is a utility in windows there we can configure our hard disk so disk part is opened now at first see your disk how many disks in your uh, computer so type this command list space disk see there are two disks disk 0 and disk 1 disk 0 with 40 gb and disk 1 is 20 gb so disk 1 is now see the 19 gb of free space so at first all and see the disk 1 is now offline so now online the disk 1 at first select the disk 1 so i type select disk space 1 so now see the disk 1 is now selected disk let's see list disk see the disk 1 is now selected so at first online the disk the disk is offline so type command online disk see the disk was successfully online the selected disk see the disk is online now there are unallocated space is 20 gb so now i configure first a primary partition into the disk 1 for configuring the primary partition type this command create if you does not know the how to configure it in dos mode so you can uh, take a help of command prompt you can type help and create so now see the three types of partitions you can create one is partition two is volume and three is virtual disk or vdx so i created partition primary or extended if i if you create a red volume red one red five and another so you can select volume so now in this part of video i will create partition that is primary or extended so i type create partition the partition is primary so i type primary space then give the size of the partition then type size equal to size and allocated in mbs so i have 20 gbs so now i give the 10 gb of primary partitions
10240 MB. So press enter. So now type another time of this comment. See, disk pass success to creating specified partition. So, see, now my partition is created and the partition is raw. So, you need to format the partitions. So now type list space volume. So my volume is created and see the my volume number four is selected volume and this there are no part uh, no file system created so it is raw drive. So now I format the drive. So now type format space fs. equal to file system is ntfs space level equal to you can type level new volume or type anything I typed my primary partition so press enter so see the format you can format the digs see the form mm, the examples are there so now I type format space fs equal to nt fs space label equal to my first partition so now enter so format is starting the format is completed but if I open my computer there was no disk so in the my computer for showing the disk in my computer assign a type letter for this partition so now type assign space letter space G. Press enter. See the drive is successfully assigned. Now open my computer. See my my first part my first partition is created. So that's it, friends. In this part of the in this part of partitions, I will show you how to create primary partition and next part I will show you how to create extended partition and in the extended partition we create a logical drive. So friends if you like my video you can log in your Facebook page and go to www.facebook.com about my computer you can like my Facebook page or you you can subscribe me on YouTube. So that's it. Thanks for watching.